Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Geo Light Side Territory Battles video. So in this one I'll be showing you my Mon Mothma team, I finally have it up and running. I'll show obviously the relics, the mods, just go some over quickly over the key mechanics. And then I'll show you here battles from all four phases, so this team very easily clears uh, all the waves in all the phases without any issues at all. Obviously if you do have Kalkatarn uh, and obviously his Omicron, probably that will be even easier, but you don't really need that at all. So hopefully this video will help you to show you how you can do that. So let's just start off first uh, by showing you the mods and just a little bit explain about the team here. So Mon Mothma obviously with her leadership there you're getting all these attacks out of turn. She's got all this uh, healing, uh, she's got as well revives, she summons the uh, commander as well to the field giving you an extra rebel fighters and you're getting all these assists, attacks out of turn and this really kind of goes nicely with the rest of the team. In terms of modding, you will just want to make her as fast as you can. Uh, she will get plus 50 speed from her unique as well, so the effective speed from my Moth Mon Mothma there is uh, 303. Karadun, obviously she's good there, you will need a tank there just, you know, to take some big hits, especially from Dodeca, so Karadun is very good uh, because she's got this AoE that removes turn meter uh, from everybody, which comes in handy. Uh, same thing like from Mothma, just throw as much speed as you can here on Karadun so she can go in first and remove turn meter from everybody. Uh, power here uh, is really uh, only here for his turn meter train, really to be honest. So his Sakala ability, uh, which will allow you to just keep spamming that ability over and over again uh, because he's got nice rebel synergy there. So the cooldown of that ability will keep getting reset. So just be able to keep using that over and over again. And good thing about this ability is uh, Pow actually does not attack, everybody will just call, come and assist. So this will not, this is good versus Dooku or Magna Guard so you don't get counter attacks. Uh, for him, I actually modded him for damage, I mean he's an attacker, but all these guys, they don't really hit very hard. But I just wanted to show you, you know, you don't really need a lot of speed on Pow at all. Uh, I like to use Cassian here as the fifth, again, you know, probably this fifth slot where I use Cassian is kind of, you know, flexible, but I just like him a lot. For various reason, uh, one is his debuffs, his shock grenade. It's got very uh, low cooldowns, and then you know to apply random debuffs on the enemies can apply healing immunity, ability blocks, and then his crippling shot then copies the debuffs from all the enemies onto the target enemy. Because uh, especially in those ways where you have like two sniper droids or things like that, you will definitely want to keep those guys under control with ability blocks. And when going up against Dooku, his counter attacks, obviously he'll be healing up. So definitely landing healing immunity on Dooku there to stop his healing will help you a lot also. And as well, his basic can apply buff immunity so you can uh, stop Magna Guard from regaining the taunt whenever he attacks. So definitely Cassian, very important here for his debuffs. And just for that very reason low, I just loaded him with as much potency as I could. So there you go, he's got 137 potency. So that hopefully those uh, debuffs uh, will stick reliably. Half Rebel Scout, in combination with Pow, provides you pretty much unlimited turn meter train. Uh, so once you get going, you know, enemy will hardly be taking turns. Except those enemies uh, like Sniper Droid and Dordeca that are gaining uh, bonus turn meter. But the other guys will just be standing still once you get going. Uh, Hot Fable Scout, just as much speed as you can. I guess you could mod him for some potency as well, because his Rebel Soul Special can as well apply stun, which sometimes can be a lifesaver versus those sniper droids. Okay, this is the team, the mods, some basic things. So I just start now here, the bottom zone in phase one and run the first battle. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward one. <laughs> there you go. You just get going and just because of all these attacks out of turn you just so quickly get rid of all the b1s and b2 stack i want to see spy there he's in stealth that could a little bit pose some threat but that's why uh, here um kara is very good she can keep pushing turn meter back and in those cases where spy would resist if he one shots kara doesn't matter mon mothma can bring her back straight away so no issues at all obviously you'll want to summon the there the trooper extra rebel fighter with mon mothma uh, so you get more attacks and then his basic dispels buff as well and once you upgrade him his basic will apply days again allowing you to control these uh, enemies that counter attacks or gain bonus turn meter. Uh, obviously as you're approaching to the end of the wave just start using basics here uh, just to make sure that you have all your special abilities uh, ready to go at the beginning of the first wave with exception obviously pow special because it just keeps getting reset. 
So you go first get rid of B2, then get rid of B1s, uh, get down the gunner droid, whatever it's called. So you can see really, really straightforward here in phase one, no issues whatsoever here at the bottom. You guess, you know, there's a bit of RNG always, could you get in wave four? Uh, so we'll see. And there you go, now that I upgraded here my soldier, uh, there you know, he's got two dots there on his blue icon there. His basic will be landing days, uh, you know, more or less reliably. So this wave here, uh, whenever you do have sniper droid, you will want to keep sniper droid under control uh, because his uh, special attack there uh, can instantly defeat uh, one of your guys uh, when he reaches 15 stacks of overcharge and they can't be revived. That's why whenever you have Dredeka or Sniper Droid, always prioritize Sniper Droid because if Dredeka knocks somebody out, um, you know, Mon Mothma can just bring them back. But the, the Dredeka will not prevent revives, whereas Sniper Droid with his special attack will. That's why you definitely want to prioritize him whenever you can. But in all these battles, I'm just picking up the footage, they take a long time. Um, so here we got, we got final waves here. So this, this ser serious mechanical droid, uh, whenever you use an AoE, uh, the enemies will take less damage and you won't be reducing any stacks, but it doesn't really matter. Single fire attacks here, <laughs> just taking care uh, of the guys, no issues uh, whatsoever. And obviously once uh, tactical droid stays alive, he'll just disappear from the battle. So there you go, very easy phase one. Phase two into middle zone. Let's see what's waiting for us here. Okay, so this time uh, my speed wasn't enough to go first anymore. It still was enough uh, in the first phase, but second phase not anymore. Uh, here probably uh, you can start off by pushing back some turn meter, uh, going after B1s, um, not to worry about their B2, um, just get out B1, there we go. Now we can take care of B2, uh, obviously first things first, uh, let's summon our um, uh, fighter here to the field, because you know we'll very quickly be able to dispel all this buff immunity, uh, because whenever Mom of my Sculptor says she will uh, dispel buffs on a random uh, ally. There we go, we got ability blocks now under deck as well, B2 is gone already, so pretty straightforward here, uh, to be honest, battle. It'll take a while, as mentioned before, because you know, Rebel Fighters, they you know, they don't hit very hard, so I guess uh, that's where uh, Kyle would help a little bit with extra damage, but you don't really need him at all. Uh, I will see that the Command Battle Droid is a bit annoying, because even if ability block him, doesn't matter, his basic still has mass days on all, all of your guys. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, we'll quickly, uh, after a couple of turns, we should be able to get rid of days on everybody and we'll continue our turn meter train. Uh, obviously after, you know, I knocked down uh, B1, B2, Steve is still working on Tordeka there. He's the only one that can do some big damage here. Um, so that's why, like for example, I said Cassian is good here for his ability blocks, buff immunity and things like that. Very useful, just keep spreading those debuffs whenever you can. All right, come on, Dreka likes to dodge a lot, that's okay, I'll just keep pushing there. Come on, there we go. And I will prioritize Command Battle Droid just because, as I said before, he's basic can daze your whole team. Uh, but you know, once you get your turn meter train going, they most likely will not get a turn anymore anyways. Uh, but just keep pushing there. And as I mentioned before, when you're getting towards the end of the wave, uh, just, you know, make sure that your special abilities are of cooldowns, so once you get into the following wave, they're all ready to be used. Now here we got Sniper Droid, uh, we got a B2 as well, obviously if I, but anyway, I just start off, push back turn meter. Now Magna Garder didn't counter attack, if he would, he would taunt, but we will just be able to get buff immunity on him and dispel, uh, so that's not an issue at all. Alright, we took care of B2 now, trying to land a stun on Sniper Droid there with her scout, it didn't land. Uh, let's just go ahead now promote um, our fighter there. So now his basic will be landing days. So sniper droid can no longer be gaining a bonus turn meter. Uh, but you know it's kind of a ticking time bomb here, because mentioned before, if you do not land ability block on him, uh, once he reaches 15 stacks, uh, he can just go ahead instantly defeat someone. So you're just gonna have to keep pushing. Uh, now luckily, I think AI is programmed as the first move. Even if they do have 15 stacks, uh, they will not go ahead and use their Annihilate ability, but they will. Uh, the sniper droids will first use their buff ability while they buff themselves up, they gain protection up and offense up. But you know, because they're um, most likely they will already have buff immunity on them uh, from Cassian's basic, they wouldn't be able to do that anyway. So you don't have to panic too much, I think. Um, but you definitely want to go out and take them out as quickly as you can. Speeding through now for the rest of the wave here, you know, no real threat anymore, to be honest. Um, everybody's 
debuffed, ability blocked, dazed, buff immunity and everything. Um, so you know, you don't waste time here looking at Magnagar's slow animation of counterattacks. He's dazed, so you just keep pushing again, making sure the abilities, special abilities are off cooldowns uh, for next wave. Moving into wave 3 here, uh, so this could be a little bit trickier here. Uh, we do have Sniper Droid, we do have Dredeka, so let's first uh, push back Terminator Vicara. Uh, perfect landed their days on Sniper Droid, so we won't be able anymore to gain bonus Terminator. So with him days, let's just go, go ahead, finish off B2, and now let's just go all out on Sniper Droid, see if we can land a stun, no stuns unfortunately there. So just keep going, uh, I'll just ignore Dredeka to be honest, because uh, if he does one shot there, my Kara that's taunting, I'll just revive her back. Uh, whereas, as mentioned before, sniper droids do prevent um, revives. Alright, so we got some debuffs out there uh, with Cassian on the field. Um, so just keep pushing. Hopefully Cassian will get a turn so he can copy those debuffs onto sniper droid. There we go. Got ability block on him, so now he won't be able to instantly defeat. If he would have actually got a turn, but he didn't. Up next, uh, we have to go after Dredeka now. Just get him out. And there you go. So uh, you can see that Daisy is really helping out here uh, from the basic, from the Rebel Fighter. Um, so, especially Dredeka and Stamp Droid. They can't really gain any bonus turn meter whatsoever. So, now you just gotta keep pushing here. I'm just gonna speed up the footage again. I mean, it's a pretty uh, routine battle from here on out, to be honest. Um, Dredeka there got a turn, doesn't really matter. Going after Command Battle Droid next, because he's got this, you know mass AOE on his basic or things like that. Uh, so definitely take him out and then we got the rocket trooper uh, to finish off the end. He was just checking, well, um, I already promoted my trooper to max, so does this ability give me anything extra after, you know, the uh, it's been promoted to the max, but I don't think it does. So just keep pushing now, making sure again that your special abilities are off cooldowns for the next and final wave here. Let's see what I pulled uh, this time from RNG. Alright, we got Duke here with Jodeka and uh, Bichu as well. Obviously, we try to avoid attacking uh, Duku um, whenever we can. Now, Kara started her in stealth, so just use her uh, AoE there to push some back turn meter. Uh, and I'm going after Jodeka. Keep pushing there. Okay, there we go. Landed the days on Dredeka so we can't anymore uh, gain bonus turn meter. So hopefully this will allow us to take it out. There we go. Get some healing immunity there on Dooku. Obviously Dooku, if he's not ability block, when he gets his first turn, he most likely will uh, use his uh, Master Pakashi ability where he dispels all debuffs on himself. So just something to bear in mind if you do not have ability block on him. But right now I'm not worrying about Dooku too much. I'm just going after Dredeka while I can. Um, trying to... And Drekas, they do like to evade a lot. There we go, more dodging. Uh, now we can copy uh, the debuffs uh, with the special attack there from uh, Cassia. And now with Drodeka under control, uh, whenever I have an ability uh, that does not hit Dooku, um, I target Dooku. Like, for example, uh, with Power with his shout ability, uh, keep targeting Dooku. Or Magna Guard to like spread the days around so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, perfect. Uh, just single fire attacks now. I don't want to upset Dooku too much. Uh, just spreading the days there. Uh, let's see if we can get a daze on Dooku. Finally, there we go. Perfect. Now everybody dazed. No more counter attacks. So now I can just go all out on Dooku. Try to take him out before, obviously, you know, ca as cowardly as he is, you know, goes into, dispels the debuffs on himself and goes into stealth. Then he can counter attack and things like that. Okay, so I just keep pushing now um, back onto Dooku. Uh, that's why this, uh, you know, the ability from Pao, his shouting ability that you can, it keeps resetting its cooldowns, so you can just keep spamming it, it really helps you here um, to get the bonus turn meter train going in combination with uh, Scout as well there. He's feeding some turn meter as well to your guys. Um, there we go, perfect. Obviously, you know, Dooku here. His, uh, what is it, elite units, so it's gonna be a little bit durable. Ah, uh, he was able to get a turn and cleanse that off. Oh boy, okay. Uh, well, we'll go after Asajj then, I guess. Okay, perfect, just keep going. Keep shouting, come on, pal, let's go. Well, Dooku, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll cleanse that off very quickly anyways. Okay, come on, Asajj, go down. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's get some defense penetration up, offense up, so hopefully now 
Uh, this will allow us to finish off the enemies quicker here. Uh, Magna Guard, you know, ability blocked, so he can't cleanse off the debuffs. Uh, he's dazed, so no counter attacks. Um, and, you know, it's pretty good here. We just keep pushing. Keep going. Still no stuns. So, yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, actually uh, putting some potency on Hoth Scout instead of all speed may be a good idea, I think. So, maybe you can land those stuns a little bit more reliably. Um, but, you know, I haven't had any issues uh, at all in this run of GOTB. Uh, but something to bear in mind uh, that, you know, you could throw some potency on him as well. There we go. Uh, Dooku might now counterattack. So, let's see if we can get a daze on him or something or healing immunity. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And that's why I loaded uh, there Cassian with potency, so you know he can land uh, his debuffs very reliably. So now, even if, when we do get counter attacks, because of the healing immunity, uh, Dooku will not be able to heal back up. So eventually, we will be able to just you know finish him. Come on, he likes to resist a lot, so or, or landing days on him there <laughs> is sometimes challenging. But again, that healing immunity there helps us a lot. There we go. So that's all done here in phase two, max waves again, no issues whatsoever. So let's move on to phase three. Again, the same team, same mods, uh, going in the middle zone. Now this is a bit tricky run, obviously we've got two sniper droids to uh, take care. Uh, but first, we probably want to get rid of these B2s as quickly as we can. Okay, let's push back turn meter, targeting the other B2. Uh, let's call our trooper now. Perfect, got him out. Okay, and now we just want to go all out on these guys because you know if they reach 15 stacks, we could be in trouble. Perfect, got ability block on one, and we don't have to worry about that one that's ability blocked. So you can get a stun. Perfect, this time stun connected. Now with both sniper droids under control, uh, we can just go ahead of uh, and finish off B1s here. All right, and now we can go ahead and uh, copy all the debuffs to other sniper droids. So now both sniper droid ability blocked, they can't annihilate anybody. So I'm going after commander droid as well. You know, he can have some big hits as well on your guys. I think he has an ability to cause an assist or something like that. So, you know, he could do some big damage as well. And uh, because the other two sniper droids ability blocked, doesn't matter. They've got so many stacks of overcharge. They can't use their annihilate ability anyways. Um, that's why I decided to do it that way. Just finish off one and let's go after the next sniper draw here. Uh, obviously, in the next waves, things will get easier once I promote my rebel fighter because uh, then he'll be able to daze on his basic. But in the first wave, you won't have that ability yet. So, here, pretty straightforward wave. Get rid of B B2s, get rid of B1s. I mean, <laughs> get rid of heavy gunner. Um, try to keep uh, commander droid under control as well. And I'll just finish off Magna Guard. So this was quite an easy here, actually, uh, second wave. So let's see what's waiting for us in the wave three. All right, so we've got Dodeca, Sniper Droid, and B1 again. As long as you can keep here um, Sniper Droid under control. So here I'm just, again, double checking the abilities here from Tactical Droid. The, the thing you will notice if you do use AoEs, like uh, B1 will not lose any stacks and things like that. So just something to bear in mind. Um, but anyway, let's go after sniper droids. There we go. B1 didn't lose any stacks because I used an AoE. But I'm not really too worried here about B1. We can just use single target attacks to quickly whittle down all the stacks. And then let's switch back over onto sniper droid. You definitely want to control sniper droids first. Always, uh, Dredeka is not a problem. If you know one shots Kara, you can just bring her back uh, once one Mothma gets her revive uh, ability going. Okay, keep pushing here, sniper droid. There we go and. That's why also Cassian there is good, you know, with buff immunity there, Sniper Droid was not able to gain offense up, protection up. So, you know, just wasted a turn using that ability. But honest, to be honest, even if it would, uh, you would be able to quickly dispel those buffs um, there with your Rebel Fighter anyways. There you go, they got a big hit there on Cassian, um, but it doesn't really matter, let's just keep pushing. I do have now, I promoted there my Rebel Fighter uh, to, you know, level 2, uh, so he's now able to daze. All right, final wave. Mm, okay, we got Sniper Droid, we got uh, Dredeka, we got Dooku, we got Newt. Let's first see if we can land a daze there on Dooku. No daze, so just go ahead, finish off B1, perfect. And let's see if we can stun Sniper Droid, no stun. Okay, just keep going, keep going. So this is the priority now, trying to keep Sniper Droid under control. I don't want to do an AoE because Dooku will just counter-attack 
because we don't have days on him. We got days now on Sniper Droid, so we won't be able to gain bonus turn meter anymore. Okay, come on, give me some ability blocks. Okay, no ability block on Sniper Droid. We did ability block uh, Dredeka there. Uh, so just go ahead now, finish off uh, Sniper Droid, perfect. And I'll just kind of single target attacks on Dredeka until we land a daze on Dooku. Come on, give me a daze. <laughs> Still no daze. Oh boy, okay, keep pushing. Okay, I finally got a daze on Dooku. So now once he's dazed, you just want to go out on him, uh, try and take him down. Uh, before he gets a turn, cleanses all those debuffs and going to stealth, so then he can start counterattacking and everything. I've got the deck under control, um, so I've just kind of decided to start working on Newt there. Uh, got the deck out, got Newt out, and that's just the case of, you know, finishing off the battle here. So as you can see, as well, you know, phase free here, uh, no issues whatsoever. I guess there's always a little bit of RNG, what opponent you're gonna get, but, uh, you know, in most cases, Mon Mothma there, you know, can keep all of these guys under control quite easily. Alright, one more phase to go, phase 4, so this is usually when things can get brutal, but again, Mon Mothma held up quite well here. Uh, again, they start a little bit of a speed advantage there, no issues. Um, obviously, first things first, uh, we have to watch out for the sniper droid, but let's get rid of this B2, just so, you know, it doesn't annoy us anymore too much. Uh, see if we can get a stun or sniper droid, no stuns, uh, let's just go back uh, now and switch on to B2. Uh, get him out, perfect. And we'll just go after Sniper Droid. Uh, keep pushing, there we go. See so if we can get some ability blocks now on the board. Uh, no ability block, unfortunately, there on Sniper Droid. So I just keep going. As you can see, like, don't really need to worry about B1s too much. Um, perfect, copying the debuffs, ability blocking Sniper Droid. Uh, because you're gaining bonus turn meter, and Sniper Droid is gaining bonus turn meter, and then Kara can keep pushing back turn meters. So you don't have to really worry about B1s at all too much here. B2s and sniper droids, those are always your priorities, to be honest. And, you know, once we get those guys out, just keep clearing, keep going. Got, uh, you know, wave 1 to, again, wave 2 very easy. Uh, took out their uh, B2, B1. Commander droid again, they can put some big hits on you, so just want to prioritize them there. Uh, get them out. But as you can see, you know, going versus enemies that are not gaining any bonus turn meter. You're pretty much running circles around them once you get going because the combination of power and scout is just too much there all right i just keep pushing way free what we got here we got dooku we got sniper droid as well uh, but you've seen this before how it works uh, i'm just going to uh, get rid of here uh, b2 and then we'll turn our attention over to sniper droid as long as we get some ability blocks maybe a stun no stuns here we did get a daze on him which is great so won't be able to gain bonus turn meter anymore. Give me some ability blocks, nice, perfect. So now we can just quickly get rid of the sniper droid, hopefully. Just keep going, keep going, there we go, one more hit, one more hit. Um, just basics attack, I don't want Dooku counter attacking. Uh, just single uh, target attacks for now. Once we got that out, again, just spreading the days here first on Dooku Asajj and then get getting rid of uh, B1s there and just keep pushing, try to get Dooku out before he, you know, goes into stealth, clears off the debuffs, there we go, got him out. Same thing with Asajj, you know, just take her down quite easily. Again, keeping your special abilities off cooldowns. Uh, way 4, this is actually a surprisingly easy way 4, um, so just keep going after Dredaika there, he's the only dam damage dealer really. You can land the days there on Magna Guards, it's not counter-attacking when you use AoEs. And then you can just keep everybody here under control, stunned, it doesn't really matter. I decided to go after Kalani first, uh, because with Kalani in there, you won't be able to take more than 8 stacks of B1 per turn. And once that's done, just hit out of play. And boom, there we go. Uh, as well completed 4 waves uh, in Phase 4 on the Geo TB light side. So hopefully this video will show you now how to use Mon Mothma. Uh, again, don't need Kyle there. If obviously if you do have him, probably he makes things easier or at least quicker with the extra damage output from him. Uh, but you know, just running your standard Mon Mothma team lineup there, uh, there was really no issues. Obviously the core there is really Mon Mothma, Rebel Scout and Pau. This is the, you know, the core trio of this team. Uh, you can play around with what you've got, but obviously Kara's great with her turn meter removal, and then Cassian with his debuffs once you uh, load the team with potency, you know, it's it's so easy then to control all these guys, especially, you know, when you do have two sniper droids on the field, definitely ending ability block on, you know, one and then comp on another, 
uh, will help you a lot uh, there to keep them under control. Alright guys, hope you find it useful and helpful uh, showing you how I've been using uh, this Mon Mothma team here uh, in GOTB to quite easily, without much stress, really completing, clearing all the waves in all the phases, whether it's bottom or middle, it was quite easy and straightforward. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.